What's up everyone, this is Chalai, welcome back to another video. So some times ago, I made an unboxing video of 500GB Crucial P1 PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD and I have been using it as a boot drive in my new gaming rig ever since. You can find the link to both the videos in the description, be sure to check them out. The reason I bought Crucial P1 is because it is one of the best budget NVMe SSD in the market. But does that mean it's worth buying? Let's find it out in this video. Before we get started, I just wanted to point out that just like any other storage devices, you will not get full 500GB storage to utilize and Crucial has mentioned that on the box as well. The advertised speed of 500GB Crucial P1 is 1900MB per second read and 950MB per second write. Let's put it to a test and see how accurate those numbers are. The first benchmarking program I'm using here is the Crystal Disk Mark. The maximum sequential read speed was around 1700 MB per second and the maximum sequential write speed was around 950 MB per second, but dropped significantly when tested with random file size. The next program is the AS SSD benchmark and the maximum sequential read speed was around 1710 MB per second and the maximum sequential write speed was around 884 MB per second. Just like Crystal Disk Mark, here also results were significantly low when tested against random file size. And the last one is the ATTO Disk Benchmark. As you can see, for the most part read and write speed were consistently around 1700 MB per second and 905 MB per second respectively. Please keep in mind that these are synthetic benchmarking programs. So how do these numbers compare against the real world scenarios like copying and reading files? To find it out, first I tried copying this 1.67GB test video file over to the Crucial P1 and it copied super fast living up to its advertised write speed reputation. Next, I compressed 4 of those same video files into a zip file making it 6.65GB large. And when I copied it over to Crucial P1, it took only 8 seconds to write with the maximum write speed of 903MB per second. So far so good. As a matter of fact, all the storage devices perform well when writing large files. But what about random files with random size? To test that out, here I have copied 10GB of Valorant game folder and the maximum speed it reached was only 116MB per second and for most part it stayed consistent around 50MB per second. It took around 3 and a half minute to finish copying. To test even larger files, here I have copied CSGO folder with the size of 21.7 GB and the maximum speed it reached was only 120 MB per second and for the most part it remained consistent around the same speed. There was a time when it even went down to 4 MB per second as well. It took over 5 minutes to finish copying. As you have noticed, for both the above scenarios the write speed was much slower and not even close to the advertised speed. So is it worth buying? Well, it all comes down to your use case actually. Like me, if you just want a fast boot drive, store your game library, music, movies and so on, this drive will serve you well. On the other hand, if you are a power user, do a lot and frequent file transfers, maybe running a blockchain or surveillance storage server and so on, maybe you should look for another SSD with the storage type not being TLC. Well, that's all about my thoughts. What do you think? Are you using the same Crucial P1 as well? How is your experience so far? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, that's been it. Please leave a thumbs up in case if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel for more PC related content. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.